Hello everyone, Chris here. I just got my ass off the questing coach to tell you three absolutely needed add-ons for the World of Warcraft Burning Crusade. Classic. So the first and most important add-on that I'm going to tell you about today is called Questy. I am not even holding back. I am saving the best for first. This is an absolute must if you're going to play World of Warcraft Classic. Basically, what it does is shows you where every single quest available to you is on the map. And if you say, pick one up, this guy wants me to kill five silithid searchers, five silithid hive drones, and five uh, silithid invaders. So if I were to accept his quest, I don't need to read the quest and then go looking for these certain people or certain uh, uh, monsters he wants me to beat. I just uh, open up the map. And look it, it shows me a little sword where all these things are. So, me not knowing anything, if I just grab this quest, I'd be like, oh, there's a, uh, oh, I guess he's not a silithid. I wouldn't know. I'd be like, okay, uh, where do I even start? I wouldn't know where to go, but this tells me exactly where to go. And uh, yeah, uh, let me actually grab up some of these quests and show you how crazy this can get. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up a bunch of these quests, just every single one of them. Who cares? I don't need to read them. <laughs> Why would I need to read them? It's just going to tell me what to do anyway. I don't even have to think anymore. This is like retail now. Alright, that should be a bunch. And then open the map. Look at all this shit. It looks hectic right now, but like... Say, look at all these little gears are the rocket parts. That means that you don't have to kill anything. Uh, this, the sword means you have to kill the thing. You're not getting anything off of it. And then the little loot sack means there are things you do need to loot off of the things that you're killing. So what it also does is if you go see here, see this weird line in the desk list? That is actually an NPC and or sometimes it's also a monster that you can track down and it will give you a quest. It's not like a stationary quest. Uh, it's either a roaming NPC or if you kill a monster and pick something up, sometimes it starts a quest. And if you were to follow this line, as long as someone else hasn't killed him already, you will find that monster, which is amazing. And another thing it does is let's find a creature that I need to murder. Let's go towards... All right, perfect. It's here. See how it says zero to six salty scorpion venom? That is how much I need. If I found one off of him by killing him, then it would say, you know, one out of six. But the beauty of that is if I was in a party with someone else that had questy, it would show my zero to six and it would also show his zero to six. So you don't have to keep being like, how many do you need left? It'll show you and it'll have your names beside it and everything. So now we're going to move on to add on number two. And this one is pretty much necessary if you're going to use Questy because they both work in tandem with each other. It is called Tom Tom and it has it. Uh, Questy has it built into this. If you didn't have TomTom, Tom, this wouldn't work. So basically, you right-click the quest you want to uh, track, and then set TomTom Tom target. And since it wants me to kill Scorpid Reavers, it's going to target the first one that's on the map, the closest one to me. Um, if it was a quest like this that has three different things, you could set the TomTom Tom target, and see how it says Silithid Searcher? You can pick a different objective, and say I want to kill the invaders, set Tom Tom target, then it it sends me towards the closest uh, Silithid invader. And say for this quest, if I killed all the Silithid invaders, all the little swords that represent a Silithid invader will disappear from the map. So it's also kind of a very satisfying combo to have Tom Tom and Questy because you get to like kind of eliminate things off the map. And then once all of these have disappeared, you know you have a bunch of quests to hand in and a whole lot of experience. How much experience? Well, if you hold shift over a quest, it actually tells you what you need to do, how much experience you're going to get from it, and how much money you're going to get from it. And say you see this quest over here, and you're like, I don't know, I don't think that's a dungeon. It's not a dungeon quest, but usually dungeon quests I'll like put aside unless I'm actually going to do the dungeon with somebody. So I'll be like, I don't want this to show up anymore. So say I didn't want this on the thing anymore. You hold shift, you right click, and it says, are you sure you want to hide this quest uh, test of faith? And then yes, it doesn't pop up anymore on the map. So if you have a quest, just because if you feel like you need to complete a whole area, but there's that one quest that stands out, you can just get it out of the way. Forget about it. Don't worry about it. But that is all just basically add-ons to save you time 
and gain you experience. The other thing you need, so you'll have tons of money like me and also be able to afford awesome stuff like this off the auction house, which also speeds up your questing and everything, is you need to get Auctionator or there's other auction mods are out there. I use Auctionator, I think it's great. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much pick any of them. They all do the same thing. So basically what it does is make auctioning easier. What you can do with Auctionator is you can run back to the city every time you have a full inventory because what I like to do is sell pretty much anything that's a white item or above because uh, it's another add-on that does this for me, but it'll basically tell me how much it auctions for. So, okay, maybe something like the watermelon I wouldn't bother with, but tin. If I was going to sell tin to a vendor for whatever stupid reason, you're way better just selling it on the auction house for like, what was that, six times as much? seven times as much oh yeah it, okay it tells you right there times six sell price but what I do is I go to the mailbox because it's all about saving time in uh, this especially if you want to catch up to your friends who are all doing crazy end game dungeons and stuff so silver ore is a huge thing if you're doing uh, mining or whatever early on you can't really use silver ore you can sell it for a buttload on the auction price I don't think that three silver is accurate I'm pretty sure it was going for like one and a half gold or almost two gold but we'll see okay so just grab a bunch of stuff there i've added a bunch of stuff and i'm sending it to solid gould who is my auction uh, mule so send boom then i could just jump into an inn and instantly log out and instead of wasting all that travel time i just pick solid gould and boom i'm in orgrimmar right in the auction house hooray solid gould solid gould Let's go see what we have to sell, solid gould. Here we go. See, I have a bunch of things. I like all this junk I just auctioned because why not? You get a ton of money for this shit. But look at all this money I've made. So see here, you got the regular bids and auctions that you usually get. But auction uh, auctionator gives you these extra options. So, I mean, I don't really use it for buying. Uh, you could though, it makes it easier. But uh, for selling, you just boom. It tells you what the auction prices are already for this thing. So you can just kind of, uh, it automatically undercuts them. But like sometimes I'll undercut them a lot because someone will be like, oh, a bargain and buy it. Three gold's a lot more than like the, what is it? Like 10, 20 silver I would have got from just selling it. Same with this. Okay, not a lot, but uh, you know, I'm going to undercut him too because I'm an asshole. But something like, uh, linen cloth see how I put 20 there and it's like one stack of 20 I like to split them all up because sometimes people don't want uh, a whole stack of 20 but here's all the different uh, prices for it so what I do is I count how much I have in my inventory which is 51 and then you get 51 here 51 stacks of one uh, come on of one and it automatically calculates uh, how much uh, per one item is on the auction house so the cheapest you can get one piece of linen cloth on the auction house right now is one silver 45 so I calculated one silver 44 undercut them all with 51 linen cloth and it just does all the work for me I didn't have to do any calculations it's very tedious I'm sure a lot of you have tried using the auction house without a mod like this but boom sometimes it doesn't have a, a price already for it and then I'll usually just chuck it up for like one or two gold just to get things started most things that like the level 30 that i am on my other character aren't worth much more than that um but see everything that's green that's already on the auction house is just about one to two gold which works for me uh and then these are the, the items that i've done with my blacksmithing might as well get a profit for all my slaving over the smelting uh and blacksmithing anvil and all that shit my guy works hard, so he needs to make a buck off of his uh, things. I did put the silver here because I want to show you guys. I'm not actually going to sell it because there's a cool thing I can make with uh, my blacksmithing. But see what I mean? Four silver, each for one gold, uh, 34 silver. And that sells. Like Every time I put silver up, it always sells. It never comes back to me in the mail. 
So when you're early on starting out, that is a lot of money that you can use to get your spells and other shit. So there you have it. Those three add-ons are going to make your life so much easier and you'll thank me for them. If you want any other video or advice like this, just leave comments in the comment section down below and I'll get to every single three of them. So until next time, keep on questing. Yeah.